Hello, this is Srinivasan, who is having more than 30 years experiences in the construction industries, trying to give a small presentation on how to be a basement waterproof. What is meant by a waterproofing? A waterproofing is such an arrangement which prevents the water enter or escape from the building premises. Hydrostatic weight rises when the water table rises. This hydrostatic weight may be four hour for the structures which is adjoining to the water body. The hydrostatic pressure will be more within the profound structure which can attempt to drive water inside the building and make a quick deterioration. Refer the image which will explain you how to do a waterproofing. The importance of the waterproofing. The definition is of a waterproofing is to create a barrier which prevents water enter or escape from the building premises. Water which is enters or escape from the building can have an immediate and long term undesired effects. Also, structural damage might be possible if the problem persists for a long. Water damage is second only to the fire, so be careful. Casualties of water damage is as follows. Decaying of a wood structure, corrosion of the steel in the concreting, steel columns, lintel, metal doors, etc. Swelling of the plasterboard and debonding the artistic styles which has been fixed for the external cladding. Electrical risk includes your short circuit. Damage of the paint. Health issues because of the sogginess. The significance of the waterproofing is in such a way until as you plan it properly and identify the methods of the waterproofing it will be highly expensive and will be a time consuming. So plan the type of the waterproofing and do it accordingly. Box type waterproofing. This is generally done for a structure which is below the ground level such as a basement, swimming pools, lift pits etc. which prevents water entering or otherwise to withstand the water pressure. Sabar water type water treatment is commonly used in India. This has been first done at Chachikai railway station long back. As it proves to be a success, this has been commonly used all over India. The adjoining images shows how the box type tiling has been fixed in the flooring. Procedure. A base coat of cement mortar, 1 is to 4, mixed with the waterproofing compound as per the manufacturer specification laid over the PCC of the raft. Above this, Sahabar tiles of 2 feet by 2 feet or 3 feet by 3 feet has been fixed. Joint should be staggered. Remember, joint should be staggered. Refer the image will be showing you how the joints are staggered. After fixing the tile, the joints are sealed with a cement mortar, 1 is to 3, and a 15 mm metals have been packed in the joints. Over this, a cement plaster of 1 is to 3 with a waterproofing compound laid not less than 20 mm thick and cured for a minimum period of 7 days. Over this flat surface, a raft is costed, retaining walls have been costed. Saba tiles on the vertical sides have been fixed externally from the raft. Cement paste has been applied in all the four corners of the tiles. Press firmly on the concreting so that it can stick to the... Saba tiles are fixed vertical sides of the retaining walls from the outside which is shown in the image. Cement paste is been applied to all four corners of the Sabah tiles and pressed firmly so that it can stick around with the wall and the line and level. 
at a time not more than one meter height has to be fixed joint should be sealed with one is to the two parts seven motor the saba dado has to be grouted with a waterproofing compound and should be cured for a minimum period of seven days the entire process forms like a box externally which will prevent any water entering from Arrest. the building premises sabot fixing and the floor level the images will explain you how it is to be done sabot tiles fixing on the vertical surfaces the image will identify how the tiles has to be fixed in the vertical wall drainage in basements pathway of 0.6 by 0.9 is to be excavated filled with uh, impervious material such as brick batch metal has to be laid on it so that it will be act as a filler media on top of it you have to fix the desired tiles this area beyond the pathway is excavated to form through a trench of the periphery of the basement the highest level of the trench is kept at least 0.15 cm below the basement the perforated pipes of 0.3 or 0.45 m dia are laid in a graduated slopes joint of these pipes is not at all joint the collecting chambers not to be plastered so that water can enter or go externally from the surroundings the perforated pipes are then covered with loose materials like a uh, brick bat cobas mm, metal chips to form a filler media the size of the filling material goes on decreasing from the starting point to the end point the image of the drainage with a perforated pipes has been shown adjoining procedures the underground finds the way through the filler media the water is collected in a frequent chambers as the slopes has been provided this will pass through to the end chamber which will be a deeper length from the the water has been pumped to the public storm water drain how to fix the uh, filler pipes you can see the and refer the images treatment to the foundations of the bad soils wherever the subsoil water is not properly drained the structure should be disconnected from the face of the ground excavation and trench should be made not less than a width of 600 mm so that water can pass through and go to the lowest point the bed of the trench should be provided with a good slope and it should be filled with a gravel etc etc to act as a filler material summary the awareness and the understanding of the waterproofing has grown significantly more and more people are recognize the important role of the waterproofing waterproofing is a critical component of any building structure the four keys of structural waterproofing are proper consideration at the design stage choosing the right product for the job along with the adequate preparation the correct application the ramifications of failing waterproof or waterproofing inadequately can be addressed thank you for watching if you like this presentation kindly like and share do not hesitate to write to me for any further clarification thank you